Hey everyone, it's Caitlin and welcome to another video. I haven't really been feeling my best over the last few weeks. It could just be Pacific Northwest gloom or the drag of winter now that the holidays are over, but I've been noticing that I've been feeling kind of like in a funk. Mental health is not as great as it is at other times. So I decided to take some time to do some nice self-care quality alone time things. And I thought, you know what? I should share this with the internet because I think that quality alone time is underrated. So today I am sharing three solo date ideas where you can just hang out with yourself, get all cozy and comfy. And the great thing is that they are also all at home as well because some of us might not want to leave our houses due to things going on in the outside world. Or you could also be like me and just be a total introvert and want to stay in your house most of the time. All of these ideas are really accessible and budget friendly too, so check them out and do at least one. So our first at-home date idea is cozy coffee and copy. See what I did there? I'm trying to get all alliteration-y with the CCC. Bad jokes aside though, this is honestly my like ideal slow Sunday morning and I think more people should try it out. I essentially get the vibe that I'm in a coffee shop, but I just make a baked good at home and then I have it with a fancier beverage. Sometimes it's just plain coffee, sometimes I make a latte, but in this video, I decided to make my chocolate chip banana bread scones. I'll link the recipe down below. They are so delicious and cozy. And the other great thing about them is that I didn't have to leave my house to get any of the ingredients because thanks to today's sponsor, Thrive Market, I was able to ship all of the non-perishable ingredients directly to my house. I love Thrive and I have been a committed customer for several years now. My Thrive market order depends on the month, but I usually get some staples in my diet plus a few fun items. I love how they're always adding new things to their website and it's also really easy to filter through their offerings and select things that are vegan or organic or gluten-free. Whatever lifestyle you live, Thrive Market has an option for you, which is pretty cool. So I got some flour and also some delicious walnuts from Thrive Market that I was able to use in this recipe, along with a few other pantry staples that I had already purchased from Thrive in months past. So if you too live in the US and want the luxury of all of your favorite products delivered to your doorstep at a good price, check out Thrive Market. Just go to thrivemarket.com slash Caitlin Shoemaker. But I also get to give you even more savings. If you click my link, you'll get 40% off of your first order plus a free gift. So don't forget to check it out and you can belong to a better market. Back to scones. I love how these scones are made from simple ingredients and they taste like banana bread, but it's just more rustic and cozy in my opinion when you turn them into a scone. I love to make some sort of baked good when I do my cozy coffee mornings. Sometimes it's pancakes, sometimes it's waffles, sometimes it's scones, but I always like to make a little something. If you wanna buy something too, that's you can totally do that, but you know. I'm a full-time recipe developer, so I just feel like it's in my nature to make it. And it's nice to just sort of get your hands in there too, you know? So while the scones bake in the oven, that's when I usually whip up some coffee today. I just went for standard coffee, but I did get this new French vanilla creamer from Thrive Market that I wanted to try out. And let me just say, the best part of pretending you're in a coffee shop at home is that you could eat your baked good and your coffee wherever you want. So after a little bit of finagling, I cozy it on up with my dogs usually, and I just set my goodies on a side table, and I like to read a book. I typically rent books from my library from my iPad, so that's why I'm using my iPad, but you could totally get the complete cozy rustic vibe if you have a paper bound copy, but you know, I like to save money too, so you do you. Hey there, and welcome to Solo Date number two, which is an artsy adventure. Adventure used loosely, but it all depends on your imagination. Actually, I did want to say with all of these dates, make sure you have a date intention about it because it's super easy to be like, you know, I just make some food and then whatever and rush your day. But making it a date is all about how you feel about it in your mind. So, you know, take a deep breath, be like, wow, I'm so excited to spend this time with myself. Let's have a date. I often find that I feel more in touch with myself and it's great to get out of my own head when I'm doing something creative that also involves other senses. Um, so like touch, smell with cooking, but also with creating things with art. So there are plenty of options for this date. You can make a collage. You could simply doodle for an hour, play your favorite music. I am going to go rogue 
and attempt to learn from America's sweetheart, Bob Ross. So I have one of his things pulled up. I'm pretty sure he paints in acrylic. I do not have acrylic, but I did get this set of paint. It's gouache paint for um, Christmas this year. I've always wanted to learn how to paint and I was like, you know what? I don't really need anything for Christmas. We'll ask for this and hopefully spend more time off of my phone and painting. So I don't really know what I'm doing, but I also think that we need to stop judging our hobbies and think that we all have to be perfect at our hobbies. It can just be about the enjoyment of the activity. So as a perfectionist, that's something I am constantly working on, but I'm going to play this video, do my best to follow along, or maybe I'll just go completely abstract. Who knows? Um, but I think it'll be fun. No, it is going to be fun. And it's going to be a lovely date with myself. First, let's just acknowledge that Bob Ross is a magician. Like, how the heck does he paint that in 30 minutes? I had to pause it several times. He said, oh, I'll just put it in a little bush right there. And I'm like, what? Mine looks like a blob. But anyways, mine looks good from far away. <laughs> For using the entirely wrong medium, not having the colors he was using and having different brushes, I feel like I didn't do terrible. And also it was my first time doing a Bob Ross tutorial. So you know what? It's a good starting point. Does it look realistic? Absolutely not, but it was fun. And like once I actually got into the groove of things, I was like, okay, it doesn't matter that this stinks. It's just fun to like blend the colors and ch -ch 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 with your brush and swirl in the waters and stuff. Here is a better lit thing of my finished painting. It was fun. I on yeah, honestly, my water is not terrible. I definitely would love to take some like local art classes or do more free tutorials online though. I am now moving on to my third idea for our self-care relaxing solo date and that is a beautiful or blissful bath. I personally am a fan of baths but I never set aside time to do them so that's a little extra bonus tip. I know when you're watching this video you're gonna think oh this idea sounds nice I should just do it sometime. This is your reminder to actually schedule a time for your self-care or date nights rather than just saying someday because then when you put it in your schedule you're more likely to do it and more likely to take care of yourself and not give work or other scheduled events a priority. I think that you could totally expand upon this or just have a bath. Personally for me I did a nice 20 minute yoga session before this. I just searched something on YouTube really quickly and found a 20 minute grounding flow. Honestly, these days I don't practice yoga as much as I should and it was really nice to just sort of center my body and relax. But if yoga is not your thing, you could even just look up a stretching video for however much time you want or just spend a little time stretching or doing some yoga on your own before the bath. I just feel like it's nice to move your body or get out some tension or some energy before you relax because then you can just fully lay here and be in bliss. You could totally just take a regular bath and honestly, most times I do. I did see this lavender scented bubble bath on Thrive Market and I was like, you know, a bubble bath sounds really nice and relaxing right now. So I think I'm gonna try this. You can't see, but Maya's just out of frame. She found a cotton ball, and obviously, she's not to play with it. So I think that is pretty much it for me for this video. Oh, I do want to say, if a bath isn't your thing, like if you wanted to just do an extra long facial routine or give yourself a nice massage with some lotion, I feel like those are all good ways to reconnect with yourself and also just relax and be in the present moment with your body. And they're all totally free or made from things that you already have in your house too. 
thank you all so much for watching this video. If you want more videos like this, maybe some solo date ideas outside of the house or more inside of the house, I don't know, let me know. Leave a comment down below. I'd be happy to film that as well. Or if you have any other future video requests or suggestions, I'd be happy to film that as well. And a big thanks again to Thrive Market for sponsoring this video. Don't forget to go to thrivemarket.com slash Caitlin Shoemaker to get 40% off your offer plus a free gift. So that is it for me. I hope you were all taking care of yourselves and as well as possible during these times of life. You know, I hope to virtually see you soon. Bye.